Venify Code Sign Protect, part of the Venify Control Plane for Machine Identities, secures enterprise code signing processes by providing centralized and secure key storage, along with role-based access control and policy enforcement. Providing developers with agility and freedom of choice by fitting into existing workflows, CodeSign Protect reduces the burden on development teams by integrating with the tools and processes they already use. In this video, we'll be talking about signing scripts using PowerShell as an example. With most organizations, everything starts with InfoSec announcing a new policy requiring all software that's run to be signed. They want to stop malicious code from being run along with other types of attacks and want to make sure any code that's being run within the enterprise has been signed and is valid. Part of that policy declaration is an effective date. Anyone impacted by the effective date needs to get their software signed. Once the effective date arrives, the policy is implemented denying the use of any unsigned software. Typically, signing code is slow and lacks strong control over critical private keys. But with Venify Code Sign Protect, code can be signed fast and securely. I'll be showing you two different options for signing PowerShell scripts with Venify Code Sign Protect. Our goal is to comply with InfoSec policy without any changes to the developer experience. Here we're logged in and have access to a code signing project. Code signing projects are used to govern the use of private code signing keys and can include one or more code signing environments. PowerShell scripts use code signing certificates that can be encrypted in the Venify database or stored in a hardware security module. If we look at the code sign protect client configuration, you can see we have an access token and some details about the certificate that's used by our code signing project. Here we have a basic script that checks to make sure a service is running and restart the service if it isn't. This script is only an example. Your organization probably has lots of scripts used for a variety of purposes. First, we'll use the get authentic code signature command to show the script has not yet been signed. When we try to execute it, it errors stating it is not digitally signed. You cannot run this script on the current system. Next, we'll use sign tool to execute the signing operation. The syntax of the command is shown here. When we run the command, our script is quickly signed using the certificate in Venify Code Sign Protect. We can use the get authentic code signature command again to get information about the script and can now see the script has a valid signature. When we run it, it executes normally. Oftentimes, developers will have a different signing process they want to use, maybe as part of a CI CD pipeline. In this next example, you can see we have a different script called Authenticode, which is searching the Microsoft CAPI's current user certificate store, finding any code signing certificates that match the signer.example.com pattern, and proceeding to sign our script using the set Authenticode signature commandlet, along with the certificate that is found. By running the Authenticode script, we can achieve a similar result to have the signature applied to our script. This makes it easy for the developer to sign scripts in an automated way. Using Venify Code Sign Protect, your organization can both sign and deploy PowerShell scripts securely to comply with InfoSec policy. We invite you to sign up for a code signing maturity assessment where a Venify code signing expert will evaluate your current code signing standards and policies and provide you with detailed recommendations and best practices. Schedule your free assessment today. Still have questions? Turn to Venify, the machine identity experts. Check out our channel or visit Venify.com to learn about all things encryption, certificate management, and more.